Hi, this is McCoy with WatchMeWork.com, and in this lecture, we're going to be talking about the Transform Bone Tool. Now, the Transform Bone Tool is a tool that you're going to be using a lot whenever you're going to be rigging. So to use this tool, first I'm going to draw out a bone with my Add Bones tool. And now, to select your Transform Bone Tool icon, you're either going to hit T on the keyboard, or select this icon right up here. Now, when you have your Transform Bone Tool selected, you're going to have two nodes that are going to show up on your bone that you create. The first node at the top is two arrows facing away from each other. This lets me know that when I click and I drag on this bone, I can shrink and expand this bone. Halfway down on this bone, there is a circular arrow. That lets me know that I can rotate the bone. So simply by clicking and dragging left and right, I can now rotate that bone. So the last one is right down here of the bone where the pivot point is. This is the node that lets me know that I can translate my bone or move my bone around. So I'm simply going to click on that node and I'm going to drag around. Now, depending on what version of Anime Studio you're using, you're maybe not going to see these nodes, but the translate bone tool still works the same as you would expect. So let's take a look at this rig right here. The bones that I had there previously, you can't see them. They're temporarily hidden because I want to focus on just the arm right here. Let's say while I was rigging this character and I went through and I started testing the arm to see how it moves and see how it bends, I had a bend that I didn't really like. What you can do with the transform bone tool is you can, with those nodes that we talked about, you could shrink that bone. And as you can see, as I'm moving this bone around the parent bone, it is also moving the child bone. So typically if I was rigging this character and if I wanted these bones to match up with the arm, what I would do is I would right click on the arm layer itself and I would see where that point is. And that point, because this is a stroke, I have one, two, three points. That middle point is where I have my elbow or where I have the joint. So what I would do with my transform bone tool is I'd go back to the bone layer and I'd make a mental note of where that point was. And it was right about there. So that now is where I want it to be. But for this part down here, I now need to translate this bone and so when I pick this bone and I translate it, I'm going to move it so that those two bones are touching. And then for the end of the bone, for aesthetic purposes, I'm going to drag it out to the edge of the stroke. Now the thing about bones is you actually don't need to have the ends of your bones dragged out to the end of the stroke right here. Technically, if I wanted to, I could just leave it like that. But because when I go through and I animate this bone, I know I'm going to want a little bit more bone to be able to grab. And the reason why I say this is because the rotational point of the bone is right here. Where the bone ends, it doesn't really matter. So that's something that you can keep in mind. So the transform bone tool is really useful when you need to make any adjustments to your rig. So when you have already gone through and connected your bones and then you start to test them and they're not working the way that you would hope they would, with your transform bone tool, you can select the bone that you want to move and move it with either one of those nodes, whether you want to rotate it, translate it, or shrink or grow that bone. That is what the transform bone tool is used for. And that is it for the transform bone tool. In the last lecture of this section, we're gonna be talking about the manipulate bones tool. I'll see you there. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this tutorial series, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'll have new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Also, if you want to help support the channel, I have the link to all the full paid courses down in the description. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video.